On March the 15th, 2024, St. Kitts and Nevis will join the international community in celebrating World Consumer Rights Day. As the Minister with Responsibility for Consumer Affairs, I take this opportunity to wish all consumers of our Federation a happy World Consumer Rights Day. Former United States President John F. Kennedy was the first world leader to highlight and commemorate consumer rights issues on March the 15th, 1962. Consumers International, CI, introduced World Consumer Rights Day on March the 15th, 1983, which has been celebrated annually ever since. There continues to be overwhelming support and desire to safeguard the interest of consumers, thereby providing the foundation for the creation of consumer protection agencies or consumer advocacy groups in almost every country across the globe. This year, World Consumer Rights Day shall be celebrated under the theme, Fair and Responsible AI for Consumers. AI, of course, meaning artificial intelligence. This provides a basis for consumer protection organizations and governments alike to champion the cause for greater avenues of protection for consumer data collected and used by various types of AI technology. It would also be critically important that during this campaign, consumers who may not have been aware of what AI technology entails are brought up to speed on the benefits of such while also highlighting its potential downfalls. And given the ever-changing digital world in which we now operate, new aspects of technology are often intertwined and become a somewhat helpful, yet oftentimes overlooked part of our overall web or device experience. Many may have heard the term AI technology, or even AI for short. But what exactly does this term refer to? Artificial intelligence, AI, refers to the ability, in fact, of a computer, computer-based software, or robot, to perform tasks that are typically associated with intelligent beings such as ourselves. As the name suggests, it refers to the process of creating systems, systems that are capable, capable of reasoning, discovering meaning, generalizing, or learning from previous experiences which are characteristic of our human brain. So, in a nutshell, the concept of AI revolves around computing hardware being able to think for itself and make decisions based on the information it is being given. Artificial intelligence, AI, is not a vision of the future, but it is rather a reality that is currently being incorporated into and used across numerous industries which we utilize on a daily basis. This covers sectors such as banking, healthcare, criminal justice, national security, transportation, and features that support smart cities, just to name a few. But additionally, within these sectors, there are several instances 
where AI, artificial intelligence, is changing the world that we know and are significantly enhancing the capabilities of human beings. The inclusion of AI, artificial intelligence in consumer markets, has resulted in a new kind of power and knowledge asymmetry. Customers are typically unaware that advertisements and even the terms of contracts are tailored to suit their individual profiles and are most times left confused as to how a particular rating or score was obtained if a particular contract is not completed or is only offered to them under disadvantageous conditions. The use of sophisticated AI software in the marketplace also brings about lingering questions surrounding how companies arrive at their conclusions. These questions go beyond the fact that various algorithms are closely kept trade secrets. Instead, the unique qualities of AI technology such as opacity, complexity, unpredictability, and semi-autonomous behavior can also make it challenging to effectively enforce consumer legislation. As such, their decisions can't be tracked nor verified to determine if the outcome was arrived at while remaining compliant with established laws. Over an extended period, which has spanned nearly roughly 10 years, the Consumer Affairs Department of St. Kitts and Nevis, and by extension, the government of St. Kitts and Nevis, has remained steadfast in its own commitment to update and modernize its consumer protection framework. I therefore take this opportunity as we celebrate Consumer Protection 2024 to highlight that on October the 30th, 2023, the Federation took the proactive step of finalizing the adoption of the CARICOM Consumer Protection Model legislation and having it passed into law as the Consumer Protection Bill 2023 of St. Kitts and Nevis. In so doing, the Federation now has a consumer protection legislation which is comparable to those being operationalized in other jurisdictions. In the larger context of offering protection that would encompass issues related to AI technology, the focus should not be placed on consumer protection solely. Instead, attention must also be given to national laws, national laws that are somehow interlinked with consumer protection legislation. And a few examples of these are, one, the Electronic Crimes Act of 2009, two, the Electronic Transactions Act of 2011, and three, the Data Protection Act of 2018. Although these pieces of legislation may offer some protection to consumers, the issues which persons face and the way in which businesses operate continue to evolve requiring the need for new legislations or amendments to existing laws. And so let me assure the business community that the efforts of the government to strengthen the legislative and regulatory framework in this regard would be by no means an attempt to stifle their profitability. These changes, however, will provide the facilitating environment for business development, for business expansion, while allowing for a fair, 
transparent, mutually beneficial relationship between service provider and consumer. AI applications shouldn't be viewed as being entirely negative or harmful to consumers. These platforms and apps can strengthen consumer rights as they may be utilized for automated compliance monitoring and consumer regulatory enforcement, as is the case with legal tech firms. These firms ensure that customers can easily and affordably assert their rights to a greater extent than has been done in the past. Businesses, you must be cognizant of your role in practicing the welfare of consumers, inclusive of their personal data, which may have been collected through the means of AI. They must provide a quality user experience, especially when the customer is transacting business through a robust system that minimizes security risk. My dear residents and citizens, I wish to conclude this statement by appealing to you, the consumer, to embrace your responsibility in bringing about the needed improvements in how we do business here in St. Kitts and Nevis. May God bless this Consumer Rights Week of Activities. And may we achieve our goal, our goal of a more harmonious partnership between consumers and suppliers in this, our beloved country, and across the entire globe. Thank you for listening. Thank you.